My first year as principal was the year that No Child Left Behind was passed into law, and it fundamentally changed this discussion of testing. Prior to that, testing has always been part of school, and it was used as more of a diagnostic tool for schools and for teachers to evaluate the effectiveness of their instruction in their curriculum. In college, we were taught assessment is to inform instruction. You know, when I get done with a lesson, there's an assessment at the end of the lesson, something that they do to show you whether or not they have the material or not. That's the kind of assessment that I need, and I need time to look at and think, what am I gonna do to teach the kids who didn't get this lesson? There's no time to do that because I have all of this senseless testing that just is just numbers. Binders and binders and files and files of data. I look at that data in the fall when I come back, and I'm, how am I supposed to use that to guide my instruction? And that we've, we've done lots, lots of professional development on how to use data, and we know how to analyze it, but it's not really all that helpful. We don't get the results back typically till the summertime. The students we've tested moved on to another school, so what we have in, with this data is not gonna help that student anymore. We can compare this year's third grade scores to last year's third grade scores, but those are two different groups of children with all kinds of different issues and coming from different places. I don't really see how the state testing is supposed to be helpful at all. The teachers aren't allowed to see the tests. They never know what those questions were. And even if they see that some kids scored lower on a particular standard, they don't know why. So it really is not that valuable as a diagnostic tool because the teachers don't have access to the questions that their students missed. It also requires teachers who in years past would have had the creativity and the opportunity to come in and, and develop individual plans for students and develop individual instruction ideas and concepts to teach to that test, even though they may be able to educate the student much better in another area or with another methodology. If they don't teach to that test, the student's going to get held back, the teacher's going to be poorly graded. So therefore what you've done is you've, you've, you've eliminated creativity from the classroom. You've inserted anxiety, stress, and pressure, and, and, and to do what? Basically to offer up a tool that, in my opinion, is ineffective in actually determining how well that student uh, is learning in that classroom. They are having to make a choice whether they teach the way they know their children will learn best or ensure that their students are performing high enough on an exam that will allow them to keep their job. It creates kind of a box that we've put our teachers in. Unfortunately, there are only so many hours in the day, and when you attach testing to a teacher's job performance, then you're going to see that you know, teachers aren't necessarily going to be able to have the time and flexibility to take those teachable moments to do project-based learning. You're going to see that teachers are gonna start teaching to the test. When you do the high stakes testing, it's not testing to know what the kid knows anymore. Um, it's, it's testing for, for other reasons, um, for numbers reasons, for teacher evaluation, for school evaluation. It just feels good to be able to see a child grow and uh, reach a certain level um, with the mandated high stakes testing. You don't see a lot of that, uh, again, because of what's being mandated and uh, the opportunity to work with children individually, it, 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 the dynamics are changed now. It's uh, judge and punish, that's what it's about. It's not about helping teachers 
teach kids. It's not about helping kids learn. It's a way to place blame, to judge and place blame. I don't want high stakes testing to be my accountability. I want my children's success, their progress, their love of learning. Um, I want that to be my accountability. Um, come see my classroom, see what I do. And let that be my accountability. What can we do about high stakes testing? What we do with any other classroom bully? Stand up to them. If you are concerned about high stakes testing in Oklahoma, take action. Together we can stand up against high stakes testing and get this ineffective, archaic system out of our state's public schools. Get involved and spread the word. Tell your neighbors, friends, and family about the issue of high stakes testing. Join your local parent teacher association and present the issue to the group. If you are a public school employee, join the Oklahoma Education Association. We also urge you to contact your legislators. At knowtohighstakes.com, you'll find options to call, email, and tweet your legislators about the issue. Stand up against high stakes testing.